Hello, thank you for joining me. You're watching Esther from Stampin' Star Creations. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the UK. Today I'm going to be making a one-sheet wonder using these colours, Balmy Blue, Granny Apple Green, Daffodil Delight and Night of Navy. And we're going to be using the Pop of Petals stamp set. Now, I've knocked up a quick cheat sheet um, to show you how I'm going to be cutting down the A4 sheet of paper. Now, I'm going to have this available to you one way or another. I'm hoping to get it on my blog. Please bear in mind, these are not the exact measurements. It's just so that you've got a guide as to how the paper is cut and what the measurements are. So on an A4 sheet, you're going to cut it in half and then we're going to add in these other measurements that's where we're going to do all the cutting where you see the lines so I'm going to talk you through that later when I cut down the one sheet wonder but that's just to give you a guide of what we're going to do so I'm using a piece of whisper white cardstock and we're going to get started now because of the design I'm going to concentrate the um, stamping in the middle at the top and at the bottom of the sheet Unfortunately, during editing, I managed to cut out the bit where I stamped the flowers. So I used Daffodil Delight to stamp the flowers, as you can see in the middle, top and bottom of the page. So we're going in now with Knight of Navy to add these sprigs. And we're stamping three times to get the three different shades. decided to go back in and add a bit more to the top of the arrangement as well where there's a big gap. The next colour I'm using is Balmy Blue and we've got the leaf design again just going in three times to use up the ink that's on the stamp. If you stand back from your project, you can easily see where there's gaps that need filling and you just work your way through the different colours. So I'm using Granny Apple Green. Then I'm adding some, going back to that first colour, the Daffodil Delight, to add some more sprigs. So now that we've laid down all the colours, you can go back and revisit the colours to see if it needs adding to your design. So just keep repeating, repeating, repeating um, the pattern like you would on a piece of fabric or something like that. Don't forget to do the ends of your paper, go off, off the paper. Then I'm just filling in the gaps, going back with that balmy blue and adding the small flowers in the gaps. Now this is where we trim it. So we, I'm cutting it in half so you get a A6 size down from your A4. And then choose what piece of the design you want for which part of your project. So I'm going to cut this down by two inches and we're going to create the bookmark. Next, you're going to cut your three inch piece, I'm trying to decide which bit I like to use for the card. And basically this next piece, just you can fold it in half or just, you know, it's roughly the measurement that I've got written down. So it's, you get a piece which is two and 15 sixteenths and then the other piece is about two and seven eighths. And those are all your pieces. So the first and easiest bit is the bookmark and I'm going to use the tag top punch just to create the top of the bookmark. Slot it in, punch it down and that creates that cool tag shape. Next we're going to use the six and three eighths piece to create the pouch and I'm going to use some tear and tape on three sides 
to stick it together. So you want to peel off the backing, but on this bit, you just want to fold a bit back because that's going to be your last piece that you stick. So you don't want it all sticking together. So just peel that bit back. Then you roll it into a tube shape and attach it together. And once you've done that, you want to pinch the end, which you've peeled off the sticky tape from. And you want the seam to be able to sit in the middle of your tube. And that's going to have uh, just a shower gel to pop inside. It fits snugly, but thankfully it does fit. And that's when you can rip off the backing from your tape and then just squish that together. It does crinkle and crease, but it does actually fit on. So give it a press together and it will stick. Once I've done this, I soon realised, ah, I've gone and stuck it in the wrong direction and I'm desperately trying to take it off. So I wasn't happy with that. <clears throat> so I've gone ahead and stamped out another half piece and trimmed off the two inches. So this time I pinch the other end so I know which direction it should go in and hopefully I won't make the same mistake again. So popping my shower gel in, I pinch it in the middle and this just helps to be able to then fix the rest of that seam. So don't make the same mistake that I've made. And there's the, um, I think they call it, um, I can't remember the name. <laughs> It'll come to me. So I use a um, scrap of gingham ribbon. I had a tiny bit of gingham ribbon left over, which I've used for the bookmark. Sour cream pouch, that's the word I was looking for. Okay, onto the card and using our three inch piece, laying down some more tear and tape on either end because I'm going to use a beautiful polka dot tulle ribbon. This is it's quite stretchy, this ribbon, so as you lay it down, just try not to stretch it, but just pat it down as you go. Using the tailored tag punch and cutting out a couple of stamped flowers with a matching punch. Just deciding where I want my flowers to go. I'm going in with a greeting from Itty Bitty Birthdays and as this is for my new downline I thought this was a nice sentiment to use and just using the multi-purpose glue to stick the card together and using some dimensionals to pop up the sentiment and the flower. I just added some more stamped flowers around the ed edge. It looked a bit stark being white, so it just helped to bring in the design. And that's the card done. Okay, next we're using the piece for the notebook and I thought we just again needed something to lift that up so I'm using a piece of Knight of Navy to add a matte layer and then going in once again with the tulle ribbon just to complete the design to make it match together and sticking it down with a bit of tear and tape and multi-purpose glue. I used the tear and tape to actually stick the notebook down because I was worried it wouldn't stick if I used Tombow. It probably would have been fine, but I opted for tear and tape. So that's the notebook done. So we've got one last little piece here, which I'm just going to simply fold in half and use the handheld punch. And that goes nicely through both layers 
and just once again just feeding through that tulle ribbon to create a little tag. So there we have it, we've made a tag and a sour cream pouch, a bookmark, a card and a notebook all from an A4 sheet of paper doing the one cheat wonder method. Thank you very much for watching. Do let me know if you've tried a one cheat wonder yourself, I'd love to know. And give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you very much for watching, leave me a comment below.